All right, hey guys, how's it going? It's LVN. Today we're doing something a little different than recording a game or doing stuff. Uh, we're gonna be unboxing this bad boy right here. If you can't see it, it's Dark Souls 3. And uh, one of the things that we got from GameStop was this cool little keychain of the save point. So if you can see that, yeah, it looks like really cool. It's really detailed. <clears throat> Also, I'm doing it out in my living room, so it's a little bit nicer, and, uh, you know, we got some light coming in through there, and I just got off work, so... Since I haven't recorded anything since last week, I wanted to do something new, because, uh... Yeah, this is one of the ones that I really wanted to get, and, um... Yeah. And actually unbox. Also, we got Sassy right here, co-pilot. Just doing nothing but licking herself. There we go. But yeah, alright, so... Yeah, this is a very, um... Small box type thing. Okay, so, uh, Day 1 Edition of Dark Souls 3 gives you, um, the full game included of Dark Souls 1. So, there. So it's just straight up new. Day one, because, you know, day one edition. <sighs> Excuse me. What is this? Ooh, Dark Souls Trilogy art book. So look at this, this shit. Oh man, so it's got like a lot of... Ooh, oh, don't, don't look at it all, all in there. So I, I just like saw one of like the other bosses in the other Dark Souls. Oh my god, this is sick. Sick, look at that shit. Like, it's just, it's a really detailed and nice, like, uh, Dark Souls book. I'm not gonna go through, like, every single page, but it's just, wow, man. It looks, like, really detailed, really nice. Yeah, okay. But that's cool. Gotta find a place to put that, though. But it's, like, it's a legit, like, book. Like, it, it's thick. And I'll just, like, read over the the table of contents. And pretty much what it is is, uh, the bosses and stuff from Dark Souls 3, like NPCs and other shit, plus from, uh, 2 and 1. So, if you're a fan of all the games, then that's good. Ooh. Well... Look at that. Probably can't see it that great, but it's a uh, it's a metal cover. Hmm. Okay, so if I like, I'm gonna just do this right now. <clears throat> so yeah, it, it, they give you both covers of the game. So if you're a, but a fan that likes just this, you can have it in there, or you can have it in the metal cover. <clears throat> since I spent the money on the other one. Alright, yeah, and then here's the uh, thing for Dark Souls 1 if you don't have it. What the fuck is this thing? Arm yourself with Dark Souls 3 knowledge. Um, okay. Then there's the uh, Dark Souls 3. G guy giving you the thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, there's that, and then the game's in there. But I want to put that in here because, man. I love having, like, the cool-looking, like, can things. Like, this is a, it's a dual disc. Oh, you get the soundtrack, too. What? Oh, you get the soundtrack. Cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I have a bit of a cold, so if you hear me, like, sniffling and shit, it's because I'm, like, still not feeling good. Also, it's windy as fuck over here. Over in D.C. 
Gonna come on, fit in there, you son of a bitch. Maybe I can just put that one in there. I'm guessing this one can't, like, sustain having, like, two things in there. Alright, cool, so... There's that. And, uh, I didn't show the back, I think. So here, just let it render in a little bit, and it's just a really sexy photo of, uh, your main bro right there. Yes, sassy, and I know you're coming over. Come, get out of here, you little shit. So I think that's it for that. Torn shit. Alright, now we get to the good stuff. Fuck this. Oh, it's the Dark Souls thing. So I didn't get, like, the giant one with the other statue, but... There we go. What the hell is this? Here, give me a second, people. This is really nice artwork of, like, this, uh, a sword. I don't know if you can see that really good. I don't really have a... Uh... <laughs> great webcam for that, but uh, it's very detailed, um, looks really nice. I got instructions to set this man up. So, Red Knight Skimitar, whatever. So step one, remove the, uh, remove this. And then, sorry, this, this might give me a, a little bit of time. Do I just, like, pop this out, or what? Because it says, like, pop it out. Oh, okay. My hands are just too... There we go. So what hand do you hold your scimitar in, friend? Is it just for any hand? <clears throat> so, yeah, it could... It's pretty much for any hand, like, whatever hand you'd want it to be on. God, this reminds me of, like, the old Gundam ways where you had to, like, plug shit in together and like, glue it together. At least it's a lot easier nowadays, where you can just, um... This thing's stiff. Right out the box, though. But, alright. And this is the Xbox One console edition. And uh, here is the knight. He's super detailed. Um, I think you can like move his arms, maybe. I don't want to like break anything, but... No, I think he is stuck in this position, but... I don't know who did the, uh, the art for this. Yes, Sassy, I know, it's very epic and stuff, honey. But, uh, but yeah, it looks fucking amazing. Like, it's definitely worth the, uh, $200 we spent on it. Like, plus you get, like, the, uh... The, uh... The official soundtrack. You get a, uh... A thing of the first game. Since I already own the first game, more or less, I might, um... If somebody, like, lives in Canada and doesn't have it, I might put this up in the description. And I, I don't really have a, uh, what do you call it? Like, I don't care for, like, a number of things, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe we can, like, make a thing. Like, maybe over, like, a thousand views, I guess, for this video. Fuck, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll give out the code, and whoever replies to me or wants to get this free code, you can, sure, I'll fucking give it to you. But also, it's only for Xbox One, so... Or 360, whatever. So, yeah. I don't know, that's pretty much it. But, uh, 
But yeah, it's really, really nice, really good. Like, just the statue just looks amazing. Like, just the quality of it. And, uh, there's, like, the little Dark Souls 3 thing right there. And it's from Bando Namkai Enter or Namco Bandai Entertainment, and it just it looks amazing. <clears throat> so yeah, this is definitely worth it. And also, since this is kind of a uh, sporadic update slash unboxing, obviously I'm probably gonna be recording this. I don't know if it's gonna be a full let's play or uh, whatever, and I might even stream it. I don't know. And also, I know there were other collector's editions, like, if you buy it from their website. <laughs> you get this, like, other, like, big dude that's, like, bigger than this guy. But, um, but no, man, it's awesome. Happy that I'm, uh, cleaning up my room right now to do that. And, uh, I'm gonna find a place for my guy, and then I'm gonna get on playing some Dark Souls. Because I've been waiting for this game patiently for, like, a really, really, really long time. But I don't know, I might set a goal of, uh, yeah, probably, like, a thousand, or not, or, yeah, like, one thousand or two thousand views. And, uh, I'll give out this code for free since I already own the first one. So, yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, oh, I almost forgot something. Ooh, it's like a tablecloth. It's soft. feels so nice. Oh, it feels soft. Hear that? God, that's soft. Oh, and it's like a little, uh, I don't know what you would call this, but it's like, oh my god, it's a little map. I'll stand up for a minute. There we go. Look at that thing. Thing looks awesome. <clears throat> and yeah, I was really excited to get this collector's edition. Like, I just don't know if this is like a table mat or whatever it is, but dude, it's awesome. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I think that's pretty much it for it. I'm gonna see if I missed anything else. Looks pretty much empty, so yeah. Um, yeah, this was really fun doing this unboxing video. It's nice. It was, uh, just good to get out of the way. And I'm gonna get on and play some Dark Souls, so I'll see you guys in the next one.